It's hard to believe that it's already been 5 years since we played Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. No wonder the sequel we played for a few hours during a special preview event felt so polished. The Ubisoft Nintendo collab has gone from strong to even stronger with Mario and Rabbit's Sparks of Hope, the new game in the series. Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope is being rightfully touted by Ubisoft as a tactical adventure with a noticeable effort to elevate the latter. It is tapping into the open world appeal of current generation RPGs and it is more immersive and atmospheric with a greater sense of scale. As such from the beginning admiring comparisons to the XCOM series is not as helpful as it was before since now there is potential for broader appeal. <laughs> This is definitely an adventure of cosmic scale, meaning there's plenty more environmental distractions along the lines of what you can expect from a Mario game. It's more enticing and more flowing. Briefly for the uninitiated, this Mario and Rabbids concept is kind of like the unholy marriage of Nintendo Super Mario with Ubisoft's insane Rabbids series. This could have resulted in anything really, it could have been a party game, a puzzle game, just dance, or any one of Ubisoft's other series, but instead it became Crazy Land XCOM, so tactical turn-based battles. Bizarrely it works, more so now than ever. There's also this kind of Kingdom Hearts vibe going on with moody cinematic sequences to dramatize proceedings. The RPG effect is also helped along by composer Yoko Shimomura's music, invited to accompany Ori's Gareth Cocker and legendary Grant Kirkhope. So while instead of Disney characters we get rabbits, as hilariously awkward cosplay versions of their illustrated counterparts, you'll feel bad telling them they don't belong, and we kind of like the silliness. Two new rabbit heroes join the roster in Sparks of Hope, Rabbit Rosalina and Edge. We only met Edge during our hands-on gameplay. Think Wildstyle from the LEGO movies meets Cloud Strife. Edge gets right up in the bad guy's faces with her gigantic sword, launching floor-shaking attacks that you could only imagine hurt. A lot. Everything Edge does is cool, bordering on ridiculous, with stylish moves and animations adding some badass flair to her attacks. As you may know, Bowser's also inbound for launch, with Rayman expected in a DLC sometime in the future. That's all we know at this stage in terms of new characters. The hands-on demo specifically focused on new characters and enemies. Cursor is the name, spreading something called Dark Mess in the game. Dark Mess sort of represents this horrific space gunk that is now defiling beautiful locations in the game, such as Beacon Beach where the playtime started. Dark Mess tentacles are a blight on the lighthouse blocking the light. Dark Mess puddles block pathways ahead. There was also Dark Mess in a town nearby where a wondrous creature called a spark was being held captive. So straight away this feels more like an open world quest type scenario. There's lots of opportunities to head off in any direction, make friends and even buy items from Salesbot999 and TX the Merchant. You can do whatever you want without pursuing the main quest. We diced around a sneaky bad guy to claim a large stack of coins at the risk of being sucked into a battle vortex, figuring out not so easy location based puzzles to march deeper into levels. And we had to remember to go back to use a previously locked power now that we had an ability that B poke just came up with. When you do end up in turn based battles, they seem like a natural extension of the tactical busy work performed elsewhere, only in a separate area within an arena to fight out your battles in. The familiar dash, team jump and technique battles have returned, but free roaming tactics and the introduction of sparks has revitalized the battles. Real time maneuvering in sparks of hope is more intuitive, but there's still a small area within where heroes can move, but franking enemies and lining up shots feels less restricted. Area of effect buffs from techniques or sparks also seem more precise. The sparks especially switch up the combat. We only recruited a couple during our play session, but the element of power is introduced next level strategies. There are 30 varieties among 6 types. There's burn, gust, shock, splash, frostbite and ooze. Heroes can equip a maximum of 2 sparks at any time, mixing and matching their active powers while benefiting from passive effects, such as resistance to burn infused attacks from some ferocious wild claws. 
Ubisoft also offered two fun examples of spark synergies that we can expect in the game at launch. Glitter lures in enemies, works well for Rabbit Mario who has dukes to bash them all up close once lured in. Edge when leveled up has a multi dash that combines with aqua dash to inflict the splash super effect. Such super effects are the game changers in combat bringing rock paper scissor trade offs to battles. Power star and jewel slinger setup which sent vulnerable targets hopping around on fire. As with magic in most RPGs, sparks are allies that can be leveled up feeding them star bits to make them stronger. This gives further encouragement to battle too. And you can explore these systems as much as you can handle. Beefier sparks deal more damage over a wider range and for longer periods. Of course you can also level up the heroes as in Kingdom Battles. Spending prisms within the RPG light skill system. You can push firmly against the grain of the hero's core capabilities in order to create your own custom roles and builds. We enjoyed our time playing Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. There's a lot of potential here from this Nintendo and Ubisoft crazy invention. This is a genuine Christmas game if I ever played one. And we're looking forward to exploring all there is to offer in our review ahead of the launch on 20 October. I really want to thank Paul Davies for playing the game for us in the UK and sending this content for us to work on. The gameplay you see in front of you is the gameplay that he recorded during the preview event and I really appreciate the help. Are you looking forward to Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope? Let us know in the comments down below. The game is launching on 20 October 2022 only on Nintendo Switch. We will hopefully share a review with you before the launch.